And welcome to Ask Bonnie. This is something we do every week on Web Waste where we pick a topic, answer your questions on that topic, and you're so much smarter for it that you thank us in your will. All right, so the topic this week is on ant farms. Let's go ahead and get into the first question from Patsy in Plainfield, Connecticut. And she asks, who invented ant farms and why? Good question. Not a lot of people know the answer to this, but I found out. And of course, it's the guy named Milton Levine. 1950s, he was a distributor of uh, novelty gag items, including spud guns and rubber shrunken heads. And he wanted to actually widen his merchandise. And all of a sudden, he came up with this great idea. In 1956, he went to a picnic with his family and noticed how little kids love to put ants in mason jars with dirt and then watch them dig tunnels. And sure enough, he decided to build ant farms. And uh, the first one was produced, it was plastic panels that were transparent and then there was sand put in between them where you could put ants in as well and then there was a plastic farm scene above. And it was very, very popular and continues to be popular today. And if you want to know why he's called Uncle Milton, that's actually the uh, real name that he goes by now, is because, and this is a bad joke, so don't blame me, but he says that he was in charge of all the ants, so he must be the uncle. Eh. All right, let's get into uh, the second question, and that would be from Edwina in Edmonton. And she asks, um, I heard that when you buy an ant farm, it doesn't come with the ants, that you have to get them later. Well, that is true, but you know what? You don't have to get the ants yourself. You can actually send away for them. I believe all ant farms come with a certificate that you send in the mail, and then a few weeks later, you get a plastic vial of about 30 ants. Now, if you want to know where those ants come from, there's actual jobs, uh, careers, if you will, of people who are calling themselves ant catchers, and uh, they get about a little bit over a penny or a cent, or depending on what country you're from, maybe a couple pesos, I'm not too sure, uh, for an ant, and it takes about 10 hours to gather 50,000 ants. So if that's a career you want to get into, contact Uncle Milton, because uh, maybe he can get you a job in, in ant, I guess it would be ant ranching, ant harvesting, I don't know. But there's a job out there for you if you want it. All right, last question is from uh, Francis in Fort Collins, Colorado. And he asks, why would anyone be interested in ant farms? Well, obviously, a lot of people are interested in ant farms, Francis, or else it wouldn't be a really popular toy. But I have a more philosophical point of view on this. Do you remember that little show called Survivor? That was really famous, popular. I'm sure you watched it, Francis. That, that's your answer, all right? We have our own little TV shows that could be metaphorical ant farms when you think about it. Like all those reality-based shows are pretty much just human ant farms, don't you think? All right, think about that one for a while. That's it for Ask Bonnie this week. Go ahead and email me your suggestions, questions, or thoughts. Maybe you'd like to send in a photo of your own ant gallery or ant farm or your aunts and uncles. Who knows? Go ahead and send them my way, and uh, I'll be really appreciative. And who knows? Maybe I'll get an ant farm myself. <laughs>